I think it's important that we mark Remembrance Day here in Canada so we remember those who have sacrificed their lives for the welfare of our country. All, all the uh, Canadians that fought overseas who didn't return, we need to honour them. And if we don't, their sacrifices are meaningless. It's the one day of the year that we really all come together to remember not just World War I or World War II, but those who have fought in all wars. And, you know, we have history class and stuff like that where you, where you really get a sense for the numbers and the facts of what happened. But it's on Remembrance Day where we, we think about the experiences and how it must have impacted those people. And I think that if we didn't set that one day aside every year, a lot of it would be forgotten. We took history class, uh, we knew the chronological events of, of what happened during the war, but what surprised me most was just the impact it had on me as a person when it's different from learning it in a class rather than actually being there, experiencing what actually happened. Um, and something that I think really surprised me were the amount of Canadians that made the trip over to France to partake in the celebration. Um, when one walking over to the monument and, and as well as during the celebration, if you looked around you could just see a sea of the unmistakable red Femi 100 jackets and I think that was something that was really special. So when we, when we were busting into the town, like almost every, every house had like a Canadian flag on it. You almost felt like you were in, like, in Toronto. And um, yeah, so we, uh, we, were like, we were just mesmerized by like all these Canadian symbols and like they're really, even like a hundred years after, they're like really appreciative of like what like our, our soldiers did for them. And right now it's just two uh, craters, uh, trench lines, it's just holes in the ground right now, but we have to remember why they're there and uh, the sacrifices the men made when they were there. Probably one of the most astonishing things that I, uh, I saw there were, were the rows on rows of, of crosses and gravestones that were arranged in the cemeteries. And being able to personally see this and, uh, and witness this and see all, uh, the, the rows of, of Canadian sacrifices that were made was, was really something that was uh, really eye-opening for me. There were so many, so many of the soldiers were my age to sacrifice their lives for like, the welfare of their country. That was definitely something that surprised me. I mean, uh, I couldn't really imagine going to war at my age, like sacrificing my life for my country. Probably the most memorable moment where it was kind of this epiphany, it was like this aha moment, was uh, I was looking at this one tombstone and in the Canadian graves, all the families got to, they got to uh, inscribe things on the tombstones. And this one, one of them said, rest well son, we are proud of you from the family. And I have two older brothers and I myself am, I'm 16, so a couple years I could have gone over, or even at my age, some 16-year-olds some were going over. But it really was impactful because I was thinking, what happened if one of my brothers was in that situation? What would we write, you know? Um, and probably the most memorable part of the trip for me was um, when our St. Mike's group uh, took an etching of the uh, Private John Archibald Gates's gravestone in one of the cemeteries we went to. And I think this was really amazing because it sort of, uh, I think it completed the circle of um, how the St. Mike's community is connected and because he was a St. Michael's alumnus. From, from our bazillion perspective of, of goodness, discipline, and knowledge, I think that, that going over and, and, and sacrificing your life for, for like what you believe and, and, and to protect your people is honestly like the ultimate example of, of like what our, our values are here uh, at St. Mike's and with the bazillions. The men uh, who sacrificed so much, uh, they uh, did many things to show the virtues of goodness, discipline, and knowledge. For instance, they fought for uh, the, the values of Canadians. They fought for their families, their friends. They fought for Canada to protect us. At Discipline, they, they accepted the, the hard, hardships of war. Uh, I can't imagine what it would be like to be in, a, in, in the trench lines getting uh, bullets whizzing by your ears. I, I tried to think about it, I, I couldn't do it, but they, they were disciplined enough to go through that because they knew that there was a greater cause at hand. And knowledge, um, just knowing that if they weren't there to serve for the country that, that we'd be in a different, different place right now.
there's a great tradition there that the Canadians uh, I think Canadians too, are, as I say, are stationed all over the world and uh, in various places. They're in, they're in Afghanistan, they're in Iraq, they're in Syria. They're, they're, they're Canadians all over the world then. Uh, trying to bring peace then into the world has been so that that's a, a very noble vocation. It's almost Christ-like. Uh, there was a, actually a neighbor of mine when I was talking about the Vimy 100 trip in the summer who told me that the best way, the best way to honor our country is to be a storyteller. Um, and we must continue to, uh, we are obligated as Canadians to continue to tell the wonderful stories of our, of our country's heritage so that generations later we remind people that uh, why we live in this country and why it is such a great country to live in. And um, I think this idea of being a storyteller is how we can apply these lessons back, back home. When I was uh, inducted, they took me to Fort Sheridan, just north of Chicago, gave me the uniform, and uh, told me I would be joining the Transportation Corps, which was in the southern part of Virginia, right near all the historic marks, Williamsburg, Jamestown, and so on. It's sort of a dream job. I was with all officers. Uh, because of the headquarters company for the Transportation Corps, mm -hmm. and uh, the Army was impressed uh, with my IQ uh, and with the fact that I'd had an experience typing, even though I didn't type very well on the test. And so uh, that's how I got in the Army. So I think that's really important for us to have Remembrance Day where the poppy support veteran affairs to remember all the sacrifices committed. My, I'm going to live my life in a way that I have to give more to people because like the men in, in Vimy Ridge did, they gave their lives, which is the most you can give to someone. It taught me uh, that we need to appreciate our country more and it really taught me to, um, to stand and look at our flag and our national anthem with utmost res respect and pride. But most of all, it taught me to uh, hold my head high when I tell others I'm Canadian. <laughs>